Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. If you are new, my name is Jen, aka Urban Sims. Today we are starting the Sims Pet Stories, which is essentially a continuation of the story series that we've been doing here on the channel. So far, I have completed both installments of the Sims Life Stories. I've also completed the Sims Castaway Stories, and I think this is the last one of the series in its entirety. I'm really excited for this one actually. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of saved this one for last just because I wasn't really too sure of how interesting it was going to be. I actually have never watched any other people's videos on this, so I have no idea what to expect. But I think after this, I am strongly considering maybe purchasing The Sims 3 Medieval and playing around with that because I have never checked it out before. So if that would be something you'd be interested in, um, just let me know in the comments down below. But for The Sims Pet Stories, we have two different installments. We have Best in Show. And then after we complete that story, we can unlo unlock Midnight Masquerade, which I'm really excited about. So let's just start off with Best in Show. Alice Witt has inherited her grandparents' house. Recently, she's moved back to Garden Heights to take ownership of the property. But money problems have put her on the verge of financial ruin. A starving artist, she hasn't been able to make ends meet every month, but she is determined to make a better life for herself and her dog Sam. She may be forced to move if she doesn't come up with the Samoyans to pay her taxes. Her friends Amaya and Thomas are there to help, but ultimately Alice must find a way to save her house. I'm not quite sure how good you guys can hear the music of this home screen, but it is so freaking nostalgic. It's like bringing me back to these, these, these days, the good old days of like The Sims 2. I miss it so much. But anyways, let's just go ahead and dive in. I'm going to take you guys with me through this. It says The Sims 4 Pet Stories, or no, The Sims Pet Stories, rather. Would you like to play a quick tutorial that teaches you movement and actions before starting Best in Show? No, I've already played The Sims too many times. In fact, I think I, I, think I have a, a general idea of how to how to navigate this, but I guess this is our Sim Alice, and that is her Dalmatian, Sam. So freaking cute. I love that. Loading the wet family. Yay. Okay, here we go, you guys. Good morning to you too, Sam. You want some love? While Alice is giving Sam some attention, I think this is a great opportunity to kind of pause really quick and just take a little gander and look around her grandparents' home. So this is Garden Hills. You can't really see very much because, you know, Sims 2 graphics and all, but I mean, I guess you can kind of see. Like over there's the show park, which I'm assuming we'll be spending some time at. But for our grandparents' house, I'm really sad that they passed away and I didn't even know these people, but they're her home is beautiful. Like, look at this, y'all. I really am considering maybe recreating this in The Sims 4 because I just, I like it. I love the way that it looks. I always have enjoyed these types of homes that are long and just single story. It makes navigating them a hell of a lot easier. But look at this backyard. We have a bunch of lounge chairs, some beautiful columns. And then in the back, we have Sam's doghouse. <laughs> Are those like controversial? I feel like they are now for some reason, but it just goes to show you the era of which The Sims took place in because I don't really feel like dog houses are as much of a thing. Maybe that's just me, but let's take a look inside here. Yep, it is definitely giving grandpa vibes for sure. Okay, so we have the entryway, some runners. I love how the dog bowl is like smack dab in the middle of the kitchen. Like that's definitely a nice touch. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful kitchen. And then we have um, our little like seating area, book nook. This couch actually looks very 
detailed. Like it looks very plushy, like velour. And then this is the little living room area. I love that. Not sure what this is supposed to be, like a random rug. But obviously this is Alice's easel and she's working on her latest painting, which she hasn't completed yet. This might be like the great room where you come and you sit and enjoy company. There's more books, lots of paintings. How much money do we have? Oh, we only have like 1100 zimillions. So, I mean, if that's the definition of broke, <laughs> come take a look at my bank account. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but like, seriously, like that's not, I mean, I guess it goes fast, right? But let's look at this bathroom here. Okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, I definitely could, uh, definitely could settle in. I definitely could make myself at home here. I hate what she's wearing though. I have to change it. I really do. I guess you can put custom content in the sims 2 stories i feel like fantasia aka rachel she she told me that but i'm not sure anyways um let me take a look at our goal here so our goal is to give sam some love so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go and we're gonna rub his belly we're gonna feed him a tree we're gonna we're gonna stroke him a little and for our wants we want to have three best friends we also want to get a job in the athletic career and meet someone new let's take a look at relationships uh we don't know thomas so where the hell's thomas but Amaya is here, so that's kind of cool. Time to get dressed. I should look in my bedroom dresser and change my outfit. <laughs> you read my mind, Alice. You literally read my mind. <laughs> so our goal is to change our clothes. Now I just got to make our way to the bedroom, which is kind of weird. Hopefully our grandparents didn't die here because, I mean, I'm not trying to see no ghosts. Not trying to do all that. But let's change into... Hmm. Or no, actually, let's plan our outfit. Let's plan our everyday outfit. And I feel like I do this with every series. I'll be back, Sam. I feel like I do this with every series, but I want to change the way she looks too, because Homegirl is stuck in like, what, 20? No, 2002? I don't even remember how long ago this was. Maybe 20. It was like 2006. I can't I can't recall. But let's see what options we have. Um, because unlike unlike the Sims 4, you know, you, you can't just have unlimited access to the cast catalog. You actually have to purchase some of these things. I do feel like Alice is just a very like home homely person. She goes girl next door vibes. But I kind of like this one. It's just the hair that I feel like is throwing me off, but maybe I should just let Alice be Alice. Much better. Now that I'm dressed, I should change my look a little bit. I've got to stay fashionable. A quick look in the bathroom mirror should help me sort out my appearance. Is she calling Sam? Oh, maybe she's like, hey, what do you think, Sam? Do you like my new outfit? <laughs> He's like, roof, roof. Wait, did I say change pet's appearance? I'm a dork. <laughs> Thought my name was Sam. I'm sorry. Never mind. But we can't actually change Sam's appearance. That's kind of cool. I didn't even know you could do that. All right. Let's take a look at our girl Alice here. She kind of looks like Riley. I hate that. I feel like The Sims 2 has like same face syndrome, but we're going to make the best out of this for sure. I definitely want to put on some makeup. Um, I'm going to give her maybe like a little bit of a darker blush to bring out her complexion. We're going to go in with a little bit of a thicker liner. Maybe actually, you know what? The girls these days and the boys, everybody is uh, wearing more natural makeup and I kind of like it. But I feel like just as I'm learning that <laughs> this the, the, the what, 20, 2016 era is coming back. I'm like, yo, I just learned how to do my brows without doing 2016 brows. And then you guys are switching it up on me. But in all sincerity, I don't think I'm going to do eyeshadow on her. I just can't get with it. So for her lips, ah, the frosty lip era. This is literally my makeup in high school. Like, I'm not even kidding. Don't judge me. But it truly is. Maybe we'll do like a darker lip. I love that. How about glasses? I kind of feel like Alice would wear glasses. No, she wouldn't wear glasses. Those are not cute. Hold on. Let me take a look here. No, now she looks like her grandparents. So we'll we'll backtrack a little bit. We're not going to do glasses. We might change her eyebrows. I kind of want to do something a little more. Yeah, like a little more. Maybe not so spaghetti rope, but like that. I like that. I like darker I don't know. I like darker eyebrows. I feel like it matches more. Um, okay, so for her hair, I don't I don't hate her hair. I just don't know if I love her hair. So I kind of want to do maybe something like that. See, I think that's cute, right? No, maybe. Um, that's right. You can't do you can't do earrings. So I'm gonna leave it as is. I like this. I feel like this 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 definitely is more more Alice if 
I maybe not. I don't know. So what's our next goal? Our next goal is to please wait. <laughs> patience, patience, woman, patience. So I think Alice is gonna go and grab herself a little snack. What is she making? She is preparing. I have no idea. Sam, quiet. What is going on? What is wrong with you? Oh, you're hungry? All right, let me fill up your food bowl. So we got to go and do that. I guess he saw us making some food and he was like, you know what? Like, I'm hungry too, girl. <laughs> I'm hungry too. We'll resume the cooking. Now, let me see. Is Sam a boy or a girl? Because you know I am very, very, very bad at these types of things for sure. I actually don't know. And I'm not sure if there is a way uh, to tell. There's got to be a way to tell right what is sam sam's an aries oh my gosh what are we hold on I, i'm so curious right now oh we're an aries too that's crazy all right so there's a look at a uh, alice's skills there we do have a cell phone in our inventory it is the nine nine on two sixty eighty cell phone throwing it way back all right anyway she's gonna go and make her food so i'm gonna zoom up a little bit and <gasps> sam no what? That was grandma's favorite couch. Sam just chewed on your furniture. Pets have special needs that Sims don't have. For dogs, it's chewing, and for cats, it's scratching. Make sure to scold your pets for chewing and scratching furniture and praise them for playing with their toys. Scolding and praising teaches the pet behavior you want them to have. Click on Sam and scold him for destroying the furniture. Ugh. I'm like pissed. <laughs> I'm like so mad. I'm so mad. And I love how like Sam trots off there. What did we make though? We made some pancakes. Yum. Delish. Okay. Let me just go over here and, and scold Sam. I think it's because he was so hungry and very impatient. <laughs> so he's like, I'm going to tear up your couch. <laughs> your couch. That's what it kind of felt like right now. I'm not going to be honest. I mean, I'm, wait, I'm going to be honest with you. I think we can get him over here and clean up, but let me just handle this real quick. I love how Alice is completely unbothered. She's like, you know what? That can wait. I am eating my freaking pancakes and nobody can stop me. I'm going to have her go and finish those pancakes real quick. And then I'm going to have to re-engage that interaction because Sam's not listening. Let me just try one more time. Oh my gosh. I'm like all over the place here. Okay. Scold for destroying the furniture. Like seriously, what is that? Maybe we can take them to the park or something, but I am trying to follow the natural flow um of of the the story and not like disrupt it because sometimes i do that so unfortunately we did take a little bit of relationship hit which really sucks that makes me very very sad we're gonna play fetch now so that we can give um you know sam a little a little love and attention and reaffirm or reaffirm our relationship and assure him that we still love him like we're a little pissed off about that but we still love you sam i know maybe if i teach sam a new trick he'll learn a little discipline he needs to learn to come here quick question has anybody else played the sims pets life stories let me know in the comments down below because in the first episode or like the first part i'm always like mm, like a little weary of the story i'm just i don't want you to give me spoilers but is it a good one eh, just just let me know just let me know like between you and i <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Uh, so what we need to do now is we need to teach... No, just joking. We need to teach Sam to come here. I really do like, though. I really do like Alice's new look. It's super cute. But anyway, let's just kind of zoom through. And I don't think Sam really wants to learn much. I hope this isn't supposed to be a show dog because he's very ornery and he does not. And I mean, he does not want to. He doesn't want to listen or obey any of our commands. But I think we're finally getting there a little bit, right? <gasps> Ooh, he's a fast learner. Super fast learner okay go sam that was amazing i need to go to the bathroom holy crap where is the toilet oh my god before i beat my pants run girl run all right after that i'm gonna have her kind of clean up a little bit too and then uh oh somebody's at the door is somebody coming to the door or is someone at the door who says reese Okay, Reese and, oh no, Diana. Who is this lady? I should greet her and see what she wants. Okay, so we have like a bunch of randos all over the place and why is there some sort of sign? I have to go to the bathroom. Like, I can't wait, okay? Like, I, I really can't wait. So this is Diana Belore. We're gonna go and greet her right after we go to the damn bathroom. Like, hold your freaking horses, lady. You're putting, putting signs all over our lawn. Like, don't do that, that's weird and reese i'm not gonna lie like he's kind of hot like oh my god the way that he was staring into my soul 
<laughs> I will never, ever, ever get over it. Like, The Sims 2 is, like, unhinged. Hi, can I help you? No, dear. We are here to see how much work this house will need once I undoubtedly own it. Haven't you heard? You owe the bank 120,000 simoleons, and I have purchased the deed in case you can't pay. I doubt you'll be able to pay the full amount, so I will be the new owner. Excuse me? <laughs> Who exactly are you? Really, dear? Don't be slow. I am Diana Valor, and I will soon be the new owner of this decrepit hovel. My men just need to have a look around, and we'll be off soon thereafter. Wait a minute. Did she just call me slow? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Listen, Diana, I'm not planning on losing the house. My grandfather built it with his bare hands. I am going to pay this debt and you will just have to find another house to level. Alice, you tell that evil witch off. Go girl. I love how she is literally giving it to her. Yes. I cannot believe she still called me slow, but that like hurt a little bit. I'm not going to lie. <gasps> oh my God. Did she just freaking smack her? No, 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 no. Alice, Alice, it's not worth it. You're going to go to jail. I've had enough of this Deboer woman. She needs to leave immediately. I can't even believe they just had a slapping match and now she's like crying in the front of her lawn. The sign is still there. She needs to take it and take a hike. Ask Diana to leave. I would die. Wait, <gasps> no, Alice. It's literally the first episode. You can't be showing your whole ass out like this. <laughs> Oh my god, and I was worried. This is embarrassing. I, she just pulled her nose. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> At least she won. Holy fuck. I can't. I can't. All right, ask her to leave. Die. <laughs> Diana has anger issues, y'all. Diana. <laughs> oh my god, this is too much. I don't mean to be this crazy and wild, but you will never get a reaction out of me like you will with these stories because it is chaos. Lady, it just so happens I am pretty resourceful and I'm going to find a way to pay off this debt if I don't kill you first. Now, if you don't mind, I would like you to leave before I give you another ass whooping. <laughs> I'm crying. Who's this, Glenn? I'm not going anywhere, you degenerate. This property is practically mine. Why don't you and your filthy mongrel start packing up your things? I think it's time to show her I mean business. I'm going to give her a good poke to show her I'm not scared. Like, seriously, chill out. Oh my god, I can't. This is getting really, really, really bad. They're gonna fight again. <laughs> God, stop! Miss DeBoer, you don't scare me. I won't let you take this house. Maybe an eviction notice on the front door of your shack will scare you, dearie. Ooh, she is spicy. I don't like this bitch. F her, f her, f her, and those goddamn freaking pencils in her hair. You see, young lady, I don't care about this house. I just want the land, and whatever I want, I get. Good day, madam. Good day, okay? Good day. Good day. Bye bye. I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say it. Holy crap. Is anybody else winded? I don't think I've ever swore so much in my life. Like, I don't even care. I'm going to have to give y'all a little. <laughs> this guy, he's like, uh, nice to meet you. <sighs> okay. I needed a moment to calm down because that was chaotic. So earlier I was saying Diana had anger issues because I was still in the thick of it. But I meant, I meant Alice has anger issues because I'm like scared of her. I'm genuinely scared of her. If that is how we are starting off the series, y'all, I don't even know if I'm ready to finish this. Like, I don't think I can be. I think I'll get I'll, I think I'll get demonetized, like uh, swearing so much. You know what I mean? Oh my God, that was crazy. That was absolutely freaking nuts. Like, I don't even know how to feel right now, like at all. Oh, poor baby. Anyways, I don't know what this guy is doing in our home. I know we like greeted him. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk to him a little bit. He probably saw what was happening on the front lawn 
and wanted to come and see if we needed any help. But clearly, Alice can take care of herself. So I do appreciate it. But I think he can leave now because, like, I'm I'm embarrassed. I have secondhand embarrassment right now. But hey, it was you know really nice for you to come check on me. I appreciate it. He's like, by the way, your your house isn't decrepit. It's actually a very nice place. Thank you. I appreciate you, Glenn. Have a nice day. I feel like Glenn also might be a teenager, so I don't know how I feel about that, actually. He may not be. I know he thinks I'm boring. It's fine. He needs to leave anyways because I'm pretty sure there's a couple things that we need to do, like take a shower, <sighs> maybe have a drink. I wish that was a thing in The Sims 2. Maybe it is. I don't know. We're going to go and take a bath so we can like calm our nerves. Oh, it looks like we're receiving a package. Delivery from a slit. <laughs> like how you just walked in through my front door and came into my bathroom. But thank you. Thank you so much, Grayson. Oh, it's the dog that I ordered last week. I wish I could return this for 120,000 simoleons. Today I met a lady named Diana. I guess she owns the whole town or something. She says she'll own my house unless I can come up with 120,000 simoleons. Where am I supposed to get that kind of money fast? 120,000 simoleons is a lot of cash to pony up real quick, but I have a feeling just based on what we saw here today, Miss Alice is a woman with grit. She will figure it out. Y'all, I am so taken aback by this first episode. I am so excited to jump into episode number two, but I think I'm going to actually end this part here. Hopefully at some point you'll be able to figure out how to make a damn hamburger, honey, because that looks like a rubber tire. You know what? I'm I'm, I'm sorry, Alice. We're, we're, we're supposed to be friends here. We're a team. We're making the dream work. I apologize for what I said about your burnt burger. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the first episode here. I did really quick want to show you the Wicked Wicker bed. <gasps> Wicked Wicker? That is insane to me because this came out before Wicked Whims and it's called like Wicked Wicker and I'm pretty sure there's something in The Sims 4 that's also called Wicked Wickers. You guys remember? I don't know. Anyways, I don't know where to put this damn thing. I think I kind of want to put it in here like next to our bed so that Sam's can sleep next to us and we can keep an eye on him because he's quite honorary. But officially now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the first episode of The Sims Pet Stories. I hope you guys enjoyed. I apologize for all of the swearing um but it was intense anyways you guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here i hope that you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead and comment rate and subscribe let me know what y'all think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time